Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with a collectible I've never bought before. Now, as a lot of you know, I've done this in the past where I'll buy like the gorilla from Plastic Empire. I bought one tiny ghost. I've bought different figures. I don't know. I'm sitting here trying to think and I've bought different ones where I've only bought one. I figure I buy it, see what it's like. If I like it, then I might buy more. If I don't like it, well then it usually turns into either a giveaway or I throw it up on eBay. I do find it extremely funny that normally these items sell out. And I know that for a fact, with a lot of things, if I don't buy them, they sell out. And then I'm like, shit, I should have bought one, you know? If I do buy them, they don't sell out. This toy, this collectible has not sold out. Quite surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can see right here who it's from. So I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. Again, this is the first one I've ever bought. First one I've seen not sell out. <laughs> So anyways, and it's limited. It is a limited one, okay? But I thought, like I said, I thought, what the heck? I thought the colors were cool. I know it has to do with Pride Month. I know that's part of why it's like that, but I still thought it was a really cool one. Got this awesome sticker in there, though. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then you got um, this to share what you pulled. And this one actually came with the figure and a pin. I don't know that I'll keep both, but either way, check out that pin. That's pretty awesome. Pretty cool pin. Look at that. And that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice, pretty heavy duty. Um, I do like that the backer card has some awesome colors. With that backer card and that pin, these both look like fire together. I will say that. All right, on to the figure. I also did splurge, and I think, um, I don't know if I added it or if it came with the pop protector, but either way, uh, this one does have a pop protector on it. I thought, well, you know, if I'm buying it, I might as well do it correctly, right? So let's go ahead and let's get the plastic off this. Let's open this up. Let's take a look at it. All right, I'm going to assume these feel like they were made by seven bucks a pop. I could be wrong. If not, they did choose a... Sorry, I'm still getting the plastic off the thing. If not, they did choose a good place to have these protectors made, but it feels like a seven bucks a pop protector. Check that out. Still got the plastic on some of it. So that's pretty awesome that, you know, they have protectors for them. This is the box. The box is pretty awesome. Check out all those colors. Gasly is ready to spread love by leading the Pride Parade. Are you ready for his grand entrance? So that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, look at that. Even when you open it, check out that box before we even look inside. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. Even all the way around there. Okay, and then it is protected, which is pretty awesome. Now there is stuff on the inside here. It says, keep ghastly dust free. Dust is a reminder of the evil ash covered caverns from which ghastly escaped. Let us not remind him of such things. Ghastly needs friends. Surround Ghastly with your other collectibles so he can make new friends. Friendship is the key to cleanse his dark, wicked soul. Hopefully his m mischievous ways won't rub off on the rest of your collectibles. No direct sunlight. The unforgiving hellfires of the netherworld painfully soaked Ghastly's soul, leaving him in constant agony for thousands of years to help him ease his suffering in our world keep him out of direct sunlight now i would assume that these are kind of directions on top of making them kind of a cool warning you know and now on to the figure pull that off and looky there he is a tad smaller than i thought he would be i really did think these were bigger than funko's unless this one is smaller than the rest he is much smaller than i thought he was i actually thought he would be about i think about that big more like a tiny ghost like you know size he's actually a little smaller than a funko pop i don't know for the price i think he should be a little bigger i really do he's pretty cool i like the fact that his teeth are all different colors i know it is for the pride his horns are really awesome he has a really cool design kind of hard to see on his shirt the shirt does have different color sleeves pants different color legs so it's a really cute figure i just think for the price i mean that's the pin next to it. So for the price, I think that it could have been a tad bigger. You know, it is what it is. It's still a really cute figure. I don't know, again, if I'm going to keep it or let it go. Um, let's go ahead and see if... Yeah, see, I don't think that's going to work. Now, see, I was going to try to open this so that you could put him on display. 
That will not work because of the extra thickness here. Honestly, I think they should have thought about that when they made the box because what would be cooler than to slide this in just like that with the figure showing. That's what should be able to happen. Now what will happen is you can put this in to display your figure, but now you just put this one in and look, now he's too small. I, you know, I mean, it's nice that it fits right over the box, but I think that the protector would have been much more beneficial if it actually fit where you could display these. So either you made this a tad smaller to hold this nice and tightly in there. I mean, it's not bad. It is in there backwards. Um, it's not bad, but it does not hold it correctly. I mean, you can see the extra space over here. He wobbles. Look at he, you know, it's just too much. They really should have made it so that when you put this on the back of that one, this should have been a tad thicker. And then that way you could have displayed it and kept it dust free and protected because the problem is with the way that that works, the problem with the way this is, this is how it is done to be displayed. Well, he's going to stay dust free in there like you wanted him to. Uh, this is just the box. Kind of disappointed on that. I do feel that the pop protectors are kind of a waste unless you're not going to display them and you're going to keep them in the box like this. If you're going to display them, I wouldn't waste my money on the pop protectors. They need to come up with pop protectors that fit much better on these figures. That's just my personal opinion. Again, I don't know that I'll be keeping this. I'm a little disappointed with the case. As most of you know, I don't like dust. So I thought it would be really cool that with the protector, I would be able to display him. That's not going to happen because even if I do that, what am I going to do with the other part of the box? It doesn't fit in there. So now I got to store that somewhere and the inside and all that's going to get full of dust, you know. Yeah, it's just a little, I guess that's the number 385. It's just a little disappointing that they didn't think that out. That would have been so much cooler if they would have thought about that and put the, the pop protector, made it the correct size for just, that's, you know, that is the ghastly. We did score our first one again. I don't know if he's a keeper or not, but he's not sold out. Obviously, because I bought him, he's not sold out. But like I said, again, I'm a little disappointed in the protector. But other than that, it's a really cute figure. The figures are amazing. I just don't feel the protectors are beneficial unless you're never going to display them. So let me know what you think down below. Do you own any of these Gastly's? Have you bought any of the protectors? What do you think of the protectors? and stick around check out my patreons they get something every month if you're interested there's a link down below otherwise don't forget we'll see you in the next one and keep on rocking